If you understand it, then your life will change in a fundamental way. I say this not for nothing after having read something. I say this having checked everything from beginning to end in my own life and the lives of my loved ones, family. This is the concept of religions. When you start talking about religion, people say, ah, well, religion. Do not dismiss it like that. For millennia, certain institutions have been working in parallel with your system, which is tumbling as it is, and for some reason that system is standing still. Therefore, it will not be possible to brush it off. If you really want to understand something, you don't need to say, well, religion, God, all this does not concern me at all. This is the deepest illusion. This suggests that a person does not want to form any kind of world understanding at all. It turns out that the deepest illusion is formed at this level in the part of the question about God. Here too, there is a truth, and here there is a lie. And here are two lies about God. Between them they swing us. In order to understand how this is done, I will draw a very simple picture for you on the board, so that a complete image is preserved, because words are words. Any attempts to prove that God is are absolutely fruitless and meaningless. Any attempts to prove that God is not, they are just as completely fruitless and meaningless. Neither one nor the other is in principle provable by logical means. Therefore, one cannot relate to this at the level of reasoning and theory. You just need to observe and comprehend, and you need to verify it all on yourself. If you are really interested in this, start checking this algorithmics. Everything will be clear to you, and everything will work for you from what I will say now. These things are available, as a rule, to a greater or lesser extent for those who are tech-savvy people, who think that they do not believe in God. Now, if a person believes in God, goes to church regularly, it is much more difficult to work with Him. If I give this information somewhere within three to four hours, then, as a rule, people understand this. But you see, today's lecture is just informative. I do not set it as my objective for you to come out and understand everything. I set one objective, for you to try on some questions, some problems. Ask yourself the question, listen, maybe there really is something here. If you have such questions, then further circumstances will develop in such a way that you will get access to this information. How does creation work? Creation is the biggest secret that is hidden from humanity, and a lot of money is working for this. Intellect in the universe is hierarchical, and there are some discrete levels that do not communicate with each other. We start from scratch. If we take the axis of conditional intellect up like this, then here we mark the zero level. This is mineral life, that is, stone, asphalt, minerals. They cannot perceive any information from the outside and do something with themselves. If you take the next level, for example, a head of cabbage or any flower on the window, you will agree that this is no longer a stone from the point of view of conventional intellect. By intellect we understand the ability to receive some information from the outside and, in accordance with this information, to change some of our parameters. Any plant turns to follow the sun. Wherever the sun is, it turns there. If it is dry, the roots go deeper. If it is damp, the roots go higher. Mineral organic matter. Something they take, something they don't take. Plants have the ability to read certain information from the outside and, in accordance with this information, to take these or those actions. We take the next level, the animal kingdom. When a goat approaches a head of cabbage and pinches off a leaf, for the head of cabbage, this is an intervention from above. 
Because if you imagine yourself as the head of cabbage, there is a certain perception of the world. There is a perception of moisture, air, sun and something else. This is everything that the cabbage understands about the world. And suddenly, once, everything seems fine with you, but a leaf is gone. But a head of cabbage in principle cannot have any idea of such a creature as a goat, because this is a contact with a higher level of organization of intellect. And from this level, this level in principle is not cognizable. This is simply a property of creation. We take the next level, man. Man is a different level of perception of creation, has a thinking ability and so on. That is, even if ten dogs get together, they will never understand who you are. All the same, they will perceive you as the one who feeds them and takes them out onto the lawn, and the rest is beyond their understanding. Therefore, the main mistake and misfortune that dominates our unconscious levels of the psyche is that man in this hierarchy is the pinnacle of creation. Nothing else is possible on an intellectual level. This is the deepest delusion. It is generally clear from elementary logic that this is a delusion. Why? Because much of what is happening in the world we do not understand. How is it all created? What is the universe? What is infinity? And so on. Therefore, for any sane person it is clear that there is another level above the level of man, which in the terminology of our team is called higher reason. You can put the sign of identity and write God. Don't let the word scare you, because a word is simply a code. It is important to understand the phenomenon itself, Probably it is more correct to understand the higher reason, because God is precisely vicious stereotypes, deliberately embedded in our consciousness, so that we do not understand how creation is arranged. The higher reason communicates with the person through messengers. Among the messengers were Moses, Buddha, Christ, Muhammad. At different times they were given absolutely one and the same information from one and the same center. I know the Quran by heart, I can quote the Bible to you in many places, we have studied this thoroughly and in detail. After Christ, everything in the Bible was rewritten. Everything in the Bible is after the Nikean Council. This is 325, 300 years later. Such nonsense that Christ is God during his life was difficult to push through. Three hundred years later, it passed. At the first council of Nikea, it was decided by majority vote that Christ is God. Christ is a messenger, and we have the utmost respect for him. Kremlin strategists say, are you against Christianity? Excuse me, but what do you mean by Christianity? If we talk about me, then I simply revere Christ as much as he deserves, as a man, because he brought holy things to people. But, excuse me, everything that was written after Christ, what kind of Christianity is this? These are inventions in order to fool people. There is nothing left of what Christ said. But the only thing is that if you take the wisdom of Solomon in the Bible, and take the book of the prophet Isaiah, then everything will become clear to you as to why in most Western editions Solomon's prophecy is thrown away. Because there it is about fundamentally different gods, and there it is impossible to combine one with the other. Therefore this is the biggest secret, and a person can only achieve happiness in all aspects of his activity if he comprehends his place in creation. If he thinks of himself as the center, has an eye-centric worldview, then he will never succeed. If he perceives himself as part of this creation, which is organized in a completely different way, with intellectual levels located above him, then he can build this dialogue with the higher reason. 
This is practiced with small skills that are fairly simple.